So hello everyone. Today's lesson is past simple. If you see the PowerPoint, please raise up your hand. Great. So what is past simple? Can anyone tell us what is past simple? Lamar Abatiya, do you know what is past simple? Something that happened in the past. Something or an action that happened in the past. Thank you. Would anyone like to add anything about past simple? No? Okay, here we go. If you see the PowerPoint, please raise up your hand. Great. So today's lesson's objectives are to identify past simple tense, to recognize past simple uses and the structures, to identify examples of past simple, to use past simple correctly, and to work on exercises on your Tamkeen booklet. Okay? So, past simple is used to express an action in the past. Can someone tell me what did he or she do yesterday? Let's see Amira. Amira? Hello, Amira. Yes, teacher. Hello. Hi. Can you tell us what you did yesterday? Yes. Yes. What um, did you do yesterday? Uh, from the morning? Yeah, you can. Go ahead. Okay. I wake up. Then I take breakfast. Then I wo uh, watch all the classes, online classes. I watched. Yeah. Keep going. And um, then I study. I then studied. I, I studied. studied. Yeah. yeah. Then I ate. Uh, then I ate uh, lunch. Yeah. Then, then, uh, then I play. Uh, then I, I ate. Uh, yeah. Then uh, I ate. Then I sleep. Then I slept. Slept. Okay. Okay, a round of applause to Amira. Thank you for your contribution. Excellent. I'll be choosing now Hamad. Hi, Hamad. How did you? How are you? Fine, and you? Fine, I'm doing great. Alhamdulillah. Can you tell us what did you do yesterday? Uh, I ate my breakfast. Uh, I came to attend the online classes. Yes. Then I had an other classes with my other teachers yes and attended them yes not school classes though yeah extra so classes that, yeah extra classes and then after that i uh, i ate my lunch and then okay. uh, i started to play for some time and then i read the quran and i wrote or i read you read yes yeah. i read quran yeah. and then okay. i i read isha and i went to sleep okay thank you very much that's excellent okay now all of you will be now muted because I can I can hear some noises and voices. Please make sure that if there is a TV nearby to turn it off. Okay. If you can see the PowerPoint, raise up your hand. Okay. Now, why do we use simple past or past simple? Both are correct. It's correct to say simple past or past simple. We use past simple to talk about an action or something that happened in the past. For example, it snowed last night or I started school two weeks ago. We can also say she went to bed at nine o'clock or I spoke to him this morning. This morning. We can also use past simple to talk about past facts and past habits like coronavirus, started 2019. We can also say, I played the piano when I was a child. So as you can see, all these examples are examples of actions that happened in the past time. If you got this part, please raise up your hands. Great. So what are the key words of past simple? Yesterday, the day before, ago, last year, in 1990, or any time in the past, when, once, the other day, and that's it. You have one minute to write two keywords, use them in meaningful sentences, in the past simple time. 
One, two, three, time started. Once you're done, raise up your hand. Excellent, Lamar. Excellent, Naya. Okay. 20 students finished. Great. What about the rest? Two meaningful sentences. Let's start with Bana and Naji. Bana. Yes. Say your sentences, please. Um Yesterday, I ate um, rice and luchia. Good. Wonderful. What else? Uh, okay, you know, Bana, that's enough for you. Thank you, Habibti. I'll come back to you. Yes, in Ramadan. One sentence only. So we give a chance to other students to participate. Um, yesterday, I went to the mall. Wonderful. Thank you. Sarah as -sahib. Try to use a keyword different than yesterday, please. Yes. The other day, I went to my grandma's house. Wonderful. Thank you. Yunus Hijazi, are you there? Okay. Uh, I'm afraid that unmuted Pili Hashem. Yes. Hashem, can you hear me? Hashem? Hashem, okay. Ali Abu Hijla. Yes, Ali. I'm still thinking. <laughs> okay, Hashem, I'll come back to you. Yes, Ali, I'm trying to unmute you, but unfortunately, it's not working. Okay. Let's see, Lorin. Yes, Lorin. And um, in one thousand. 990, I was born. Again, say it again. In uh, um, 1990, I was born. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Lean Abu Sabah. The day before, I had a game, a basketball game. The day and before, I had fun. Wait, wait, wait. The day before, yes. I had a basketball game. Okay. And I had fun. Wonderful, thank you. Sultan Al Abid, can you hear me? Yes. How are you? Fine. Can you please give us an example? Yes. yes. The day before, I ate manta. Wonderful, excellent. Hamza Al Faqih, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, can you please? I went to example? school yesterday. I went to school yesterday. Wonderful. I need other students to use other keywords in their sentences. Deal. Leanne, are you ready? Leanne Fude, are you ready? Yes, Leanne. I'm still thinking. Okay, okay, take your time. Okay, take your time. Yes, Tamara. I used to, to go to my friend's house frequently. Would you please say another example using the keywords? Okay, yesterday I bought something that was yummy. That was yummy. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Let's see Zed Al Khalili. Yes, Zed Al Khalili. Before I wake, I played football. Wonderful. Before I wake, I played football. Okay. No, before a week. Before a week. Because I wanted to correct your sentence. It's before a week, right? Yes. yes. Okay, great. Thank you. Now, all of you, please join me. Just a second. I have to mute all of you again so no one interrupts the class. Okay. If you see the PowerPoint, please raise up your hand. Great. Okay. 
Now, in today's lesson, we're going actually to revise affirmative sentences, negative sentences, interrogative sentences. First of all, regular verbs. Regular verbs are verbs that follow rules. A regular verb form its past by adding D or ED. Like dance, all you need to do to form its past is by adding D. Dance, dance. Here, you would add only D. So here, here. Play, you have to add ED. Played. Watch, you have to add ED. Watched. Okay? Now, what's the rule? Subject, I, you, they, we, he, she, it. All of the subjects, all of the pronouns, plus the base form of the verb. What do you mean by the base form? We mean by it, the verb as it is plus D or AD. So to form affirmative, structure, verbs, in past simple, you have to use subject plus the base form and you have to add D or AD. Now, as you can see, you have a number of examples. I'll be reading them. I need you on the paper next to you to write the verb in every sentence and the key word of every sentence. I'll be starting reading and you will be writing down the verb in every sentence and the key word. Number one, she washed the dishes last night. Number two, we visited the grandma yesterday. Number three, Ahmed painted his room two hours ago. Number four, they watched the movie the day before yesterday. Number five, we danced salsa last month. Number six, I heard a terrifying noise. You have one minute to finish the task. If you're done, raise up your hand. Just write the number of the sentence, write the verb and the keyword. Once you're done, raise up your hand. Okay, it's a start. Ban Jabari, can you hear me? Yes, teach. Yes, Ban. So in sentence number one, you can see the PowerPoint, right? Yes. So in number one, what is the verb and what is the keyword? Washed the verb and yeah. the keyword is last, uh, last night. Okay, how did we form the past simple verb, and she washed the dishes last night. From ED. So you use the base form wash plus ED, right? This is how you should explain it. Thank you very much. All of you, a round applause to Ban, please. I can see that other students are clapping their hands for you. Let's see Yusuf. Hi, Yusuf. Yes, teacher. How are you? Fine. Great. So example number two. We visited grandma yesterday. Where's the verb and what is the keyword? Uh, the verb is visit, visit, but with ed, uh, it make it, uh, it, the ed make the sentence pass. And yesterday. Okay. Then you should say the verb is visited, visited mm -hmm. as it is. Well, once I ask you how did we form it, you explain to me, okay? Okay, what is the key word? Yesterday. Thank you, excellent. A round of applause to Yusuf, please. Wonderful, Yusuf. Let's now choose Omar Attal. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, Omar, how are you? Fine. Fine. In sentence number three, Ahmed painted his room two hours ago. Can you tell us where is the verb? Painted. Painted, excellent. What about the key word? Uh, two hours. Two hours ago. 
Okay, don't yeah. forget a go, fine? Thank you, a round of applause to Mr. Omar, please. Thank you, they are clapping their hands for you. Let's now choose another one. I'll be choosing now. Dun, 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 Who's this? Hi. Hi. What's your name? You're Salma? Let me answer, yes. Yes, Salma, next time rename yourself properly, okay? Not let me answer Salma. <laughs> okay, Salma, I'll let you answer. So, okay. you can see the PowerPoint, right? Yes. Okay, so number four, they watched the movie the day before yesterday. What is the verb? Watch. It's the past. Yeah, excellent. And what is the key word? The day before yesterday. Bravo. And here is the, the day before yesterday. Yes, you're right. And here yeah. is a round of applause to you. Bravo. All of you, please give her a round of applause because next time she makes sure to rename herself just Selma. <laughs> okay, thank you, Selma. Okay, I'll be choosing now. Let's see. Yalla Sama. Sama Abu Salim. Can you hear me? Hi, Ted. Hi, hi. Can you see the PowerPoint? No. No? Yes, yes you can yes. see it now. Yes. Okay. So, number yes, five, yes. we danced salsa last month. Where's the verb? And the verb is danced, and yes. the uh, key word is last month. Excellent. Bravo. A round of applause to Selma, please. Now I have to choose one of the boys. Fine. Thank you. So let's see Moeen. Hi, Moeen. Hi, Miss. Hi. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. I heard a terrifying noise. Where is the verb? I heard. Okay. Can you see any uh, action? Can you see any keywords? No. no. Thank you. A round of applause to Mr. Moeen. Thank you very much. Now, great. If you see the PowerPoint, please raise up your hand. Great. Now let's, re let's revise how we can form the negative structure of past simple verbs. As you can see, the rule is subject, are you, they, we, he, she, it, any subject, plus auxiliary, plus not, which is did not. The auxiliary verb is did. When it comes to negative structure, you have to add not. So, subject plus did not, plus the base form. Base form, again, is the verb as it is, like go, eat, drink, play, write, read. Great. Get your pencil, paper, pen ready. Examples, I need you to write the negative structure verb and the keyword if there is a keyword. Number one, Nadim did not finish his homework. Number two, I didn't play basketball yesterday. Number three, dad didn't order pizza last week. Number four, mom didn't bake, sorry, bake the cake. Once you're done, raise up your hand. Twenty students finished. Let's see who's going to sing at the end of today's class. Twenty-five students finished. Great. So I guess we need like 30 seconds to start. I want to give a chance for the other students to finish. One, two, three. Alla uno, alla due, alla tre. Ti ricordi italiano? Sì o no? I can see that Dan is laughing, Lean is laughing, because they remember some of these Italian numbers, right? Okay. So let's see, Mr. Muhammad. hi. 
مستر محمد هلو محمد اوكي اسيم اوكي اسيم yes. اسيم can you hear me yes okay can you see the powerpoint um yes so in sentence number one nadim didn't finish his homework what is the verb negative um, verb. negative verb let's make it more clear negative didn't. Verb. didn't what finish didn't finish excellent do you have any keywords here um, no okay look at finish why didn't we say didn't finished um, can we say didn't finished can i put the verb with ed after didn't can i um, no no because the rule says didn't plus base form right yes yes thank you very much thank you around the applause to asir please Let's choose now, Mr. Turkey. Mr. Turkey, are you there? Mr. Turkey? Omar, I tell you answered before, right? Yes. Yes. Rayan Munir? Mr. Rayan? Rayan? Okay, let's see Omar Amir. Omar Amir, hi. The boys are not ready. Muhammad Amir Khulqi. Amir Khulqi. Ziad. Where are the boys? I know where are the boys. Dan. Or Dana. Dana, hi. Hi. How are you? Good, thank you. You're welcome. Looks like the boys are busy, huh? Okay, so in sentence number two, I didn't play basketball yesterday. Can you tell us what is the negative verb? Didn't. Didn't what? Play. Didn't play. What about the keyword? Yesterday. Yesterday, bravo. A round of applause to Dana. Excellent, Dana. Let's see Muhammad al -Qaq. Are you there? Yes, teacher. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Finally, the first boy to answer. <laughs> After calling 10 boys, right? Okay, sentence number three. Dad didn't order pizza last week. What is the negative verb? Didn't. Didn't what? Didn't order. Bravo. What about the keyword? Uh, last week. Bravo. Excellent. A round of applause to Mr. Muhammad al -Qaq. I am proud of you. Let's choose now. Ayush, can you hear us? Aisha. Yes, Aisha, how are you? Ayush? Yes. Yes, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so sentence number four. Mom didn't bake the cake. What is the verb or the negative verb? Didn't what? Didn't what, Ayush? Didn't bake. Excellent. A round of applause to Ayush. All of you, a round of applause, please. If you see my PowerPoint, please raise up your hand. If you see the PowerPoint, raise up your hand. Great. Now we come to the interrogative structure. What is the meaning of interrogative structure? It when, it's when you form questions. Like we start our questions in the past simple using dead for all subjects. So, did plus subject plus the base form. What do you mean by base form? The verb as it is. Let's look at the following examples. Now, use your pencil or pen to write down 
DevOps, and the keywords, if there are keywords. Go ahead, time started. Once you're done, raise up your hand. Great, 22 students finished. What about the rest? Okay, so let's now choose. Hamad Abu Oda, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Can you see the PowerPoint? Yes. Okay. In number one, did Sam finish his exam? What is the auxiliary verb? What? What is the auxiliary verb? Finish. No, it's did. Auxiliary verb. Okay, what is the verb you use with the auxiliary verb? Finish. Finish. Do you have any keywords here? No. Thank you very much, Muhammad Abu Ode. A round of applause to Muhammad Abu Ode. So, as you can see, the auxiliary verb is very important. We start our interrogative questions using an auxiliary verb, which is in past simple, dead. Okay? Dead plus the verb as it is. Lean Hijazi, hi. Lean, hi. how are you? Hi. Fine, okay. Can you see the PowerPoint? Uh, not now, yes. Yes, you can see it now. So in example number two, in sentence number two, did you call Selma? Did. Is the auxiliary uh, verb. Yes, and call is the verb. Or the base form of the verb, yes. right? So yes. did you call Salma? Excellent. What about keywords? Do you have any keywords? No. Okay, a round of applause to Dean, please. Thank you very much, Lulu. <laughs> Let's choose now someone who I did not choose before. Hamad Sharif, can you hear me? Hamad Sharif? Yes, I can hear you. Great. Can you see the PowerPoint? Yes. Thank you. Great. In sentence number three, did they clean the yard? Where's the auxiliary verb? Did. Bravo. What about the base form of the verb? What is it? Clean. So both of did and the clean form the verb and did they clean the yard, right? Yeah. Any key words? No. Thank you. A wonderful round of applause. <laughs> Mr. Muhammad Sharif. Now... Let's choose Taisiro. How are you? I am fine. Excited? Yes. Okay. Sentence number four. Did we submit our answers? Where is the auxiliary verb? Did. Did. What about the base form or the main submit. verb? Submit. So both of did and submit. Form the verb in the interrogative. Did we submit our answers, right? Yes. Right, Taysir? Okay, a round of applause to Mr. Taysir. Thank you very much, Taysir. Okay. Um, a second, please. Okay. I'll keep the irregular verbs till the next class. Fine? So we will take irregular verbs on Sunday. I want to show you something, okay? Please write these pages because they will be a homework. Now, this is your grade five Tim Keen's booklet. This is the first page, direct speech. I want you to do exercise number one, which is page number two. So write practice or exercise number one, page number two, direct speech. If you got this, raise up your hand. Great. And I need you also to do practice number two, which is to punctuate this passage with inverted commas, quotation marks. Remember, 
where the quotations should be placed before and after the exact words of someone, right? This is a hint for you. So whenever you're doing uh, this exercise, you remember my words. Okay, so. Past simple, page number three. I know that many pages are numbered number three, but that's okay, you can find out your way. I know that you are smart enough. So find past simple, okay? For past simple, I need you to do exercise number one. That's it, one. Just do exercise number one. The cordo. Okay. All of you, hands down. Hands down because I'm going to ask a question now. Hands down. Younes, Ban Jabari, Muhammad Qaq, Mahamadi, everyone hands down, please. Saleh Atari, hands down. Okay, Asil Jabir, Taysir Nasir Din, hands down, hands down. I want to pose a question. Okay, if you got the homework, pages, and exercises numbers correctly, raise your hand. No Mu'in? What Mu'in? Uh, miss, I don't have the book, first of all. Okay, then you have to go to, to come to the school, pass by the school, get the booklet, then okay. you will find the pages, okay? Okay, so only, so only, which pages? Which pages? Only direct speech, exercise number one and two. Pass, simple okay. exercise number one. Okay? Done. Anyone else has any question? Thank you. Only direct speech, exercise number one, you're welcome. And past simple exercise number one. Yes, honey. Yes, done. Miss, uh, you don't choose me all the time. I'm sorry, honey. It's because sometimes your camera uh, pops up and sometimes it doesn't, okay? I'll choose you now in the red fine? Okay. Okay. Do you have any question, Mahamadi? Yes, teacher, teacher. Um, my mom yesterday brought the booklet. And can you just repeat because I did not understand that properly. Okay, so I repeat for the last time. This is your English Temkin booklet. Just give me a second. So you will go to direct speech, which is the first page. Okay. Do practice number one. And do practice number two. Fine. Fine. Then go to past simple. Here is past simple. And do exercise number one. Direction number one. Okay? okay. Deal, that's it for today. Okay? Okay, teacher, and you did not pick me. I uh I uh, I raised my hand and you did not pick me. As did I told Dan, as I told Dan, uh how do I all of you I look at the uh, screen and I see your cameras sometimes when I click mute or when I choose you um, sometimes you don't respond quickly or you don't just uh, show up okay oh, teacher can you pick me for the riddles? For riddles sure okay now one two three are you all ready for the riddles? Yes. If you are ready show me both hands yeah. okay I will start with them because I promised her maha just a second. The first riddle says, okay, don't answer. Fine, I will not mute you now because you will be the second one to answer after Dan. Me? So, yes, yes. So one, two, three. I show two people out of one. What am I, Dan? I show two people out of one. What am I? Something you see every day. More. I don't know. Maha? Sorry. Yes, Dan? Time's over. What? Scusa. Time's over, okay? I'll come back to you later on. Yes, Maha, do you know what's the answer? Can you repeat the... Red Yes. I show two people out of one. What am I? Tree? No, I'm sorry. 
I'll come back to you. Please mute yourself. No, Ali, it's not. No, no, Ali. I saw your answer. It's not. Judy, do you know the answer? Jude Abu Arish. Yes, yes, we can open the door because I got a lot of meeting because the internet was not. Uh... Shall I repeat it? Yes, yes. I show two people out of one. What am I? I don't know. I'm thinking of it. Okay. Salih Atari, are you there? Yes, teacher. Yes. What is it? Yes, Saleh. Uh, I'm thinking of a teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, Lamar Abu Atiyah. Shadow. No. Amira. Yes, yes, Amira. Yes, excellent, excellent, Amira. Who said that? Me. Lamar, you said that. Bravo! A round of applause to Lamar. Lamar is good in riddles, by the way. Teacher, I was gonna say it. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Yunus Hijazi. I can see your message now. And Lean Abu Sabah. Yes, it's a mirror. Thank you very much. Let's now pause another riddle. Ready? Okay. Yes, yes it's me. Okay. Okay, I have to mute all of you. No. So everyone hears it properly. So one, two, three. What has six faces but doesn't wear makeup? Six faces but doesn't wear makeup. Has 21 eyes. But cannot see. Yes, Dan, exactly. Yes. <laughs> Again, what has six faces but doesn't wear makeup? Has 21 eyes but cannot see. What is it? Hashim, do you know the answer? Taysir, what's your question? Uh I didn't hear what you said about the what do you do with the roof. It's a direct speech one and two, and the yes. second one what, what the was past, it? The past simple exercise number one. Okay. Oh, so there are only two. I thought there were three. No. Okay. Thank you. Yes, Dean Abu Sabah. Um, it's an uh, what? A die. Yes, excellent. It's a dice. Okay, something that you used to play with. You know what's a dice? That you throw this way when you play. Yes, ladder. ladder. Yeah, great. Okay, around the close to Dean Abu Sabah. Now another riddle. Uh huh. This is the last one for today. What can point in every direction but can't reach the destination by itself? I will repeat this. What can point in every direction? but can't reach the destination by itself. What is it? It's something that you have. And you have of this 10 or actually 20. Only one, what is it? Where is it? What can point in every direction but can't reach the destination by itself? Yes, Naya? Naya, can you hear me? No, 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 Ali Abu Hijda, it's not a mobile phone. No, no. Yes, Sarah as Sahib. He said, I don't know. Okay, I'll come back to you. Turkey, do you know? Leanne Fude. A finger. A finger, excellent. It is a finger, your finger actually. So a round of applause to Leanne. Here we come to the end of today's class. I'll be unmuting all of you. Today is Thursday. I wish you a wonderful Thursday. Can you hear me all? Okay. So please unmute yourselves because I cannot unmute all of you once. Unmute yourself. Okay. You can unmute yourself.
You can? Yeah. Okay. I'm working. So, here we come to the end of today's lesson. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, teacher. You're oh, most thanks. welcome. Thank You're you, welcome. teacher. Thank you, thank you. May the today, class was awesome. Thank you, thank you. May this day bring countless happiness and endless joy to every one of you. Have a lovely Thursday. See you Sunday. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye. Sama, Sama, Sama. Sama, you have a question? Sama, Abu Sama. Bye. You have a question, Sama? No, it's just that I, uh, wasn't <laughs> mute. I was it's muted. I was muted. It's okay. It's okay. So, I'll see you next Sunday. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye. 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 Bye.